Hello everyone, my name is Ruby and I'm currently sitting on a huge chair talking to a camera. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I don't know. Although I might as well just be inspired by Louis Rossman, who also runs on a chair. Anyways, that's the besides the point. I'm going to go on a little tangent. After 15 or 16 years of living my life, after getting called to counseling every week in elementary school and also in middle school, after being called by teachers for not assigning my homework in time, I realized something. There is something wrong with me. More importantly, in my head, I believe I got ADHD and autism. Now, see, the problem is, nobody believed me. I tried to talk to my dad about this. He didn't believe it because I can drive a car. Like, bro, you know why I can drive a car? Because I like cars and I want to drive them. And while on a family trip, my dad had an accident in the highway. That was 2014. I remembered it vividly. After that, I committed to myself that I'll try to become a better driver. It's because I learned the skill to do it. Anyone can do that, even if they have to do it from different ways. I mean, personally, speaking of skills, I've learned a bunch of skills that like, I never used practically for the usefulness in my life. I learned how to speak the British accent. I've learned how to talk like a girl. I've learned how to touch type with another keyboard layout that's not QWERTY. And I learned Roblox Lua. Although I did get a fair bit of money from that. Not a lot, but maybe. It's only like, I don't know, 150 a month. Not a big deal. Anyways, what I'm trying to get out of this is that I have one fatal mistake in life. And that is, I did not take things seriously. I did not see the wider spectrum. I did not prepare for what has come. Because I have reached the legal age. I mean in the United States, but like, basically, I've, I'm past 18 and I'm still a child. And you know what I regret? It's not learning it's not looking at the world in a wider scope. My mind is very narrow. I'm, I was afraid of the future. I have no idea why, but there's something in me. And because of that, I went through life for all these years without thinking what possible challenges I might face in the future to improve myself for that future and among other things that I forgot because my poopy fish brain likes to forget things short term. I mean, I lost my phone all the time. Isn't that crazy? Now, how does all this been brought up? Well, take a look at my grades. C, D, E. Now, while I do think grades are not 100% important, it does reflect on me a bit on how what went wrong. My lifestyle. Do not make the same mistake as I did, which is underestimating anything. You always want to overestimate because you can easily cut material, but you cannot easily bring back material. I don't know what I said there, but you get the idea. Now, as for what comes in the future, I have no idea. My head is not thinking straight in the right direction right now. And because my head is not in the straight direction, I will not think objectively, but at a rash. And that w could lead to a fatal mistake. And I don't want to risk any of it.
who knows, maybe at the end of the day, my life is fated to be customer service at McDonald's. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. If you got any suggestion with this thing, leave a comment. And I might do more of these in the future, so subscribe if you're interested. Goodbye.